Hey good people, welcome back to my bench, doing another build video today. Uh, building a 6 inch medium range rooster and it's going to be my first 6S quad. I lost my last rooster in a lake and this one hopefully um, should be everything that one was but better. So let's start at the top with the build components. Foxier Arrow mini camera. This thing, despite being old and cheap, is awesome. If you like a CCD sensor rather than CMOS, uh, I really love this camera. Uh, we're going to have a Baytan BN 220 GPS unit on this build. Um, hopefully that'll keep this one from ending up in the lake if it fail safes. Uh, then we got the V-Fly uh, 2 buzzer and quad finder buzzer. Uh, this thing beeps when the battery ejects. It's got a little built-in battery so it'll keep beeping for a while and it just acts as a buzzer uh, on its own. Motors, uh, the iFlight Sing 2208 1800 KV and these things are all types of pink and ridiculous colors. Uh, truth be told I wouldn't have minded the green and black ones if I could have found it but uh, you know I'm embracing it we're gonna have some of this purple uh, motor wire this cable cover and uh, I got these old purple qu purplish pinkish quad skids here too so why not let's go all in on the ridiculous colors um, as I said the frame is a six inch rooster Armitan rooster really love this frame uh, you know I considered getting the chameleon but uh, we're going for kind of a direct replacement for my last build I still have arms left over from the last build not that they cost more than like five bucks each I think but whatever I, I got a rooster uh, then we got the Holy Bro Kakute F7 flight controller I'm really I've been nothing but pleased with this flight controller it's awesome the uh, gyro's already soft mounted on there so it doesn't need any soft mounting lots of UART ports for GPS and whatever else you want on there uh, the ESC 4-in-1 ESC is the Holybro Teco 3265 amp ESC uh, should be a beaut I don't think these motors will draw 65 amps and I don't think a battery could output uh, what is 65 times 4 24 260 amps yeah not a chance of that so uh, this is overkill but I love it uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor the VTX is a TBS Unify Pro 32 uh, pretty excited to try this out first uh, I'm going with a lot of TBS stuff here or as much as I could uh, first build with any TBS stuff in it so I'm excited to see how that turns out and uh, Crossfire Nano Receiver uh, so for some more TBS goodies. Um, we'll have a variety of like 3D printed parts. I'll have links to those in the description if you feel like using any of them. Uh, one of them for this that I just sort of finished mucking around with uh, is on the printer right now. I'll pull that out in a few minutes. This is sort of my thinking for the GPS. Gonna have this GPS goes in here and then this sort of hangs off the back. Um, only thing is there might be a lot of interference from say a VTX antenna. Uh, so instead uh, if I decide to we have this. This is a uh, arm strap mount for the GPS. So we'll make those decisions as we go. Um, yeah, th those are the components. Let's get building.